Hello and welcome to how to solve section on techtoot.com. In this video we will be solving a domain relational query where the query is list the name of employees who have no department to manage. Okay, so first of all it is asking to list down name and we have to see what are the relations which, which we will be looking at just now and it is asking who have no department to manage. It means they are not managers okay list down all the employee names who are not managers right so let's see the relations so basically this question is continuation of the previous video where we have understood domain relational calculus and we also saw a basic example so if we look at the relation given we have employee and department and what we have done is we have given a domain variable to each attribute a b c d e f g h and for department we have given x y and z right and we have to list down all the employees name okay so we will list down first name and last name again we will list first name and last name okay but we will have to check that this eid this this eid okay it is not matching to this MID in any case, right? It means that there is that the employee which we are listing as output is not a manager, right? So remember we have to perform join, okay? We have to join this table to check the condition over C and Z, right? Okay, so let's write down the query now. So this is our relation right now what we have to do we have to output first name and last name right so we will take the corresponding domain variables that is a and b then we have to write down the condition right so what we will do as we have c and z to compare so we have to apply quantification over c so we'll check there exists c okay now so we will write the domain of these domain variables that is we will declare what are these variables which i am using okay so it is employee a b c d e f g h all the variables which we have taken for each attribute right now we have to see so this is one uh, condition now we write and as always then we have to see if there exists some z and this z belongs to department so we will write I am writing it in short department x y and z fine and for this z, this z is equal to c, right? And z equal to c. Fine. Fine. So this is our whole domain relational query for the given above query. Okay. But it's not correct. If you notice, what I am comparing here is this z is equal to c, right? So it directly means that what I have listed down here is the name of employee who manages some department. Okay, because I am saying Z is equal to C. There exists some Z. Okay, there exists some Z for which Z equal to C. It means for this C, for this employee ID, okay, there exists some Z that is some manager id where this manager id is equal to employee id i mean there exists a department for which this employee is a manager okay so we have to write down this thing in reverse okay this last expression in reverse that is there should not exist any z okay so what we will do we will just add a negation sign here fine so now this query will output all the employees who are not managing any department fine okay 
so similarly i mean we already discussed if it is given that list down all the employees who are managers so we will not write down this negation sign okay fine so i hope this is clear what i suggest now is you should solve more problems on this and if you have any doubt you should discuss your doubt under the doubt section on tech2.com so in the next video we will be starting sql so structured query language where we will be basically implementing these things these informal query languages which we have learned till now to write actual queries okay so for that we will install uh, some database management system uh, we will be using open source mysql okay and we will perform some queries while learning the things so see you in the next video thanks for watching if you like this video and you want us to create more such videos please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe to techtude